Okay, this is for Saturday. This is a down day. Jesus died on the cross yesterday. His body was taken down and put in the tomb and the tomb was sealed. And so Jesus is lying dead. The world is without hope. There's nowhere to go. There's no one to turn to. It's just really a sad time for, for all of existence. And so here we are in that middle day, wondering, wondering about ourselves. I'd like to share with you from Matthew chapter 26, verses 69 through 75. Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. A servant girl came to him and said, you also were with Jesus the Galilean. But he denied it before all of them saying, I do not know what you're talking about. When he went out to the porch, another servant girl saw him. And she said to the bystanders, this man was with Jesus of Nazareth. Again, he denied it with an oath. I don't know the man. After a little while, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, certainly you also are one of them for your accent betrays you. Then he began to curse and he swore an oath. I do not know the man. At that moment, the cock crowed. Then Peter remembered what Jesus had said. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. In this in-between day, what are we feeling? What are we experiencing? Jesus has died for the forgiveness of our sins. On Thursday night, when, when we celebrated the Last Supper, we left our sins at the altar. And yet, I just imagine that there's something still inside that you hadn't let go of. And it's stewing in you right now. It's festering. And you're in that in-between time. Am I a worthless person like Peter felt like? But when Jesus had said before they went out to the Garden of Gethsemane that they would all betray him, G uh, Peter had said, oh no, not me. I'll go with you anywhere and everywhere. And then, right in the midst of it, he had followed Jesus to where they were going to have the trial. But then, he denied him. Not once, not twice, but three times. Then the cock crowed. He felt terrible. He felt awful. It was a weight hanging upon him. Do you feel that weight hanging upon you? Is there something that's just eating you up inside that you try to deal with, you try to get forgiveness for, but you keep hanging on to? You keep holding on to it. You keep holding on to it. I pray that if there is, you remember that though Jesus is lying stone cold dead, stone cold dead in that tomb, that it's not going to be that way for you. That there's going to be hope. So I pray that as you're following around in self pity, in hurt and in pain, unable to forgive yourself or to forgive the person who's wronged you or to get past whatever it is, I pray that you'll use today to ask God to change your heart and to change your soul. Because tomorrow is a new day. Let us pray. Gracious God, let us prepare our hearts to welcome Jesus anew. We're not ready yet, Lord. We're still stewing. We're still hurting. We're still thinking that we're going to do everything on our own. And every time we try, we fail. There's no hope for us. Jesus is dead today. Yes, he is. But tomorrow is a new day. Amen.